Welcome back to school. This video will guide you through the process of logging into Big Ideas Math. And by the end of this video, you should be able to create your student account with your student ID, access the dynamic classroom that is totally interactive, learn the basics of the dashboard and the resources available um, in the stack, which we're going to dis discover. So here's our checklist of the steps that we're going to follow. These are the student self-registration instructions so that you can register for yourself. You're going to visit the website www.bigideasmath.com. Then you will have an option to click on a message which asks new to Big Ideas Math. The next screen allows you to enter your access code provided by your teacher followed by the screen where you are required to fill in information to create your account. After that, you write down your username and click, ne click next to be able to log in and get into Big Ideas. So those are the steps that we are going to follow. Okay, this is a screenshot of the login page. And you're going to click on this tab where it says new to big ideas so we'd click on that and you will see the login page or the app the page where you enter your access code so notice that you will enter your access code that's provided to you by your teacher so this is where we enter the access code click next on this page, you're going to enter your information so that you can register for your student account. Enter your first name, your last name, your password. So you're going to create your password, and it needs to contain three of the following elements of an uppercase, lowercase, special character, or number. Then confirm your password, and here you enter your student ID. You should have been given your student ID or have it in your registration information for school. If you don't have it, your teachers should be able to access that for you. And then click Next again. And you will next see a welcome message. And you're going to see the little spiraling thought circle. So just you're waiting until your dashboard is set up for you. And once the dashboard is set up, you will come to your screen that congratulates you on uh, registering, and it provides your username. So your username right here in this red box is provided by Big Ideas. It is one that they create, so you need to remember it or write it down. You will need this to log in every time. So once you have that written down, then you will again now press login. So now we're back to the initial login page. Um, before we log in though, notice down here at the bottom is another button. It says View Easy Access Materials. So if you click on the View Easy Access Materials, it takes you to free resources. And those free resources are for anybody to access. Even if you don't have an account with Big Ideas, it provides an ebook um, and some other resources like skills review handbook and some other things. So that's also a quick way to access material. Um, so on this page, go ahead and enter in your username, your password, and click login so we can log into Big Ideas. So here's the first screen that you should see. And the first time you log in, you will probably see this notification um, page up here or, or link at the top. There are new features that were added this summer, so there should be new notifications, features notifications. Um, there, if you'll notice, so right here there are, uh, and in case there were three separate messages, so you want to click through all three of those so that you can read those messages. Um, and sometimes it tells you to learn more. You click here so you can see that. 
When you've finished reading your notification page, then just click on the X, you can close out this message and, and this green section will go away. And the rest of this, what it leaves you is your dashboard. So this is your personal dashboard. Um, so across the top of the dashboard, um, you can see the name of Big Ideas. Then it has your class period, your class and period that you're signed in for. Um, this is the textbook that's being used and your username or login name that you were given um, in, when you registered. Okay, the, there are four tiles in this dashboard. So the first tile is your uh, dynamic classroom access. So dynamic classroom means that it is interactive. When you click on the continue, it will take you into that interactive textbook. Um, and that will, in a different video, will explore the specific features of the textbook itself. But this is how you access the interactive textbook where you are actually able to watch videos, go through examples, practice, uh, do assignments, take quizzes if they're assigned, but there's various activities and resources available to you, tutorials to help you um, in your classes. On the upper right, we have the skills that are listed for the current lesson or the upcoming lesson that you will, that are um, being assigned in your textbook. The bottom left are the, is the assignment tile. Obviously, this screen is showing no assignments, but you will see when you have assignments uh, posted for you, you will see them here. It will send you reminders. It'll also provide due dates. Then the bottom right is the resource tile. And so you can see in this resource tile, there's several options. So we're going to go in and look at this in a little bit more detail. So let's look at the detail. So here's our resource tile in the dashboard that we just left. So the first one is math tools. So it gives you quite a few math tools to work with. If you're in geometry, it'll have a protractor, it'll have a compass, there's graph paper, there's a ruler, various things like that. Glossary um, to look up definitions. Here is a link to ebook. We'll talk about this in just a minute, but the ebook, which we'll look at, um, is actually an ebook, not an interactive book. There are flashcard options here. Videos, these are STEM videos that are introduced at the beginning of each chapter to make show the connection to the real world for the content being covered. This is a skills review handbook and these are also linked to your assignments um, if you, so that you can do additional practice on any assignments that you might need. And then we have an apps link. And this is an app, uh, this links you to apps for iPo iPad, phones, um, other personal devices, etc., that you can upload. And so there are three apps that you can access and I have them listed here. So you can see there's a dynamic ebook. So this will actually take you to the same link as this one. And you can download this one though to your iPad, for example, and have it accessible when you're not online. So it's, you don't need okay. Wi-Fi to access this once it's downloaded to your iPad or other device. Um, there is a link to um, download math videos. So these are the videos, the STEM videos, or, or instructional videos related to the textbook. And we have solutions. So just the same as any other textbook, you have worked out solutions for odd problems in each section. So let's go back to our dashboard. And... Um, I want you to look at the upper part, upper right part of the dashboard and you'll see three stacked horizontal lines. So this is called a stack. Sometimes it's referred to as a hamburger stack, but I call it the resource stack because if we click on that stack, it's gonna reveal some additional resources. So now it's been kind of expanded out in this blue area here. Um, and it, some of these are repeated, but this is another quick link to the dynamic student edition. That means one that's interactive another link to your assignments, the math tools. Skills Trainer is a little bit different, but it will also, but it allows you to go back and practice those skills that maybe you need additional practice on from your assignments. There is a game library, which is also part of the free access materials. This is a link that takes you back to the dashboard, so it's kind of like your home key. And then a help 
uh, access key. So let's click on the dashboard here and let's go back to the dashboard. So now going back to the dashboard, let's actually look at um, the ebook. So let's go down here in the resource tile and we're going to click on the ebook. When you click on the ebook, you're going to see these uh, you have this library. And depending on the course that you are enrolled in, that's the library, that, the textbooks that you're going to see. So this is showing the um, Bridge to Success, Big Ideas, Algebra 1 Student Edition, and this is 2019 edition. Um, you also see that there is a Spanish student edition that's available. To access the ebook, you need to click on the picture of the book itself. So when you click on the picture of the book itself, It will actually require you to use your login and password again, and this is actually a different access point th than we were in before. It opens into a different window, um, but this is where you will get to your ebook, and the ebook is not interactive. This is just a digital copy of the book. So along the left-hand side here, we have some different options. We have table of contents. Uh, you can create a bookmark. You can enter in notes related to examples in the book or things that you might, might want to remind yourself of study skills, things like that. You can highlight. Um, there's some settings related to how you view the book. And then of course we have a help key. And over here on the right side, we have our zoom tool so you can zoom in and out. And then you can go back to your library. So if maybe sometimes people take two classes, they double up Geometry and Algebra 2, and you maybe you're enrolled in two classes. So you can go back to the library to access the other books. Okay, so let's go back um, to our, you can go back to the dynamic classroom. But basically we have finished going through the process to get logged in and create a, um, an account. So... I want you to get to know your book and your resources. So review the, your login. Keep your login name and password handy. That is really important. Um, and explore these dashboard tiles. Go in and actually explore them. Go into the dynamic classroom and see what kind of things you can find for yourself. Um, pay attention to the skills that are going to be presented in the first few sections of Chapter 1. Um, and if there's assignments posted, which there probably will be one in there, so you should go ahead and do this first one as a homework assignment. Um, and look at the resources that are available. Just click into those and explore them, see what they do, get familiar with them, so you know what your resources are throughout the trimester um, when you need help, when you're stuck, or if you just want to see what's coming up. And then also uh, remember the stack that's in the upper right-hand corner. Um, look at the skills trainer and get familiar with that as well.